Welcome to my channel. My name is Lindy Sherris. In this channel, we live life to the fullest because there is no backup. So if you are joining us for the first time, thank you so much for watching. And I do hope you do enjoy the content and you will consider subscribing and join the family. So yeah, I am excited about today because it is my daughter's metric dance. She is going to a metric dance and it's just so beautiful, guys. I do not want to give more information on that because the next video that i'll upload will be all about that i'll show you everything regarding hair metric dance which is like a prom so in today's video you are going to see me cooking uh, we are going to cook together i'll show you everything that i did and also i am going to view a house it's like a big house that is built and i am so excited for the owners and i just love black excellence guys i just love when black people do well so you are going to see that house the different rooms i mean the swimming pool so it's currently being built so it's not yet finished but then i just love seeing the foundation the smell you know the soil the smell of everything that is so brand new so now i'm also going to show you um me going to the rugby field because i've been at a cricket stadium i've been at a soccer stadium i've been at a hockey match i've been at a netball match i mean i grew up playing netball so that one doesn't count so rugby was the last one so i had to go and experience it was fun guys it was fun so you're also going to see that i am excited for this vlog yeah so let's just go straight to the vlog what i normally do i usually boil this chicken and then after start putting spices but today i decided you know what let me not boil this and see what will happen so that i can save time so what i put is this portuguese chicken spice and also this portuguese steak seasoning and also this um salt as well because sometimes the spices do not have enough salt and then this chicken marinade which i bought from west pack so i like buying big things so i needed a marinade that will last longer so let's just put these spices in there and then after i'll start rubbing and then massaging my chicken until i get to a point where i feel it is ready and then i'll usually do this a day before but today i don't know why i didn't prepare yesterday so i'll just marinate and maybe leave it for an hour or so and then so that the spices and the salt can go in and then the next thing that i do is obviously to peel um potatoes so what I'm, I'm planning to do is the mesh and rama and um, milk so that it can be fluffy so i'll just peel so cooking was never something that i liked um i always felt like it's not something that i should be doing and you know when you just don't have any passion for cooking i was that type of a person i would just mix and you know just for my family not to start so i would cook but then the food wouldn't turn out nice and because of that i got discouraged and always said that it is for specific people i still say cooking it is for specific people because god wouldn't give us all these gifts um to all the housewives so i am that housewife who can now cook but because i am putting practice but not because it's something that i i really like can do well so i am learning and my kids and husband are enjoying the family so i had to transfer the potatoes into a small pot because i'm only cooking for tonight and also let's just peel this uh, corn so that i can remove the leaves and after we can boil this corn so i like cooking this type of meal because when we eat you don't get too full you know when you eat pap and meat and then you feel so full that your stomach can be heavy so we are learning as a family to at least one day not eat up or even rice and just eat a light meal but at the same time it is feeling you know it's funny how i used to think uh i will never get full with this but and my husband as well will feel like maybe afterwards this his stomach will be so empty because he's used to pop but funny enough um we do get full so yeah let me just continue um peeling this and then i'll start washing this so that um i can start 
boiling this so the next thing i'm going to do it is spinach because i'm planning to do cream spinach so ask my daughter to go buy spinach at uh, checkers and for some reason she didn't buy like the bunch you know the big 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 bunch but she, she bought this packet and it, it felt like it was a waste of money because normally when i buy spinach i buy like the huge like the big one and then i can chop it and then freeze then we can eat that for two or three days but this one we're only going to eat tonight and that's it guys and i'll also go to these fruit and veggies um shops like your food lovers market and there's one food um uh where they sell veggies in pretoria me and my husband normally go there and then we'll share the spinach with people um if it's too much like we'll just buy the box so i'll just chop the spinach i uh, do not need to chop like it chop it finely because um it will boil and also what i'm going to add or add milk to make my cream spinach also simple and funny enough this cream spinach i learned it from instagram there was like a a reel where they were showing us how to do it and i did it and then my family was like yo this is nice you should do it again so let me just wash my corn and also my potatoes so that those can be clean and start boiling so while doing that as well we can start um with other um preparations and then now i'll put salt on both my potatoes and also my corn but then i'm not going to put salt on my spinach because we don't use salt we use um aromat there so let's just boil so this can be easy it's only the chopping that is not nice and i'm sure i can buy these chopped already uh, but yeah obviously it will cost more so now that my potatoes are soft i am going to add rama and milk and guys i didn't even prepare the measurements but next time if you want i can add the measurements but it all depends on how many people you're cooking for so i'm just cooking for five people and yeah small portions so you put your garlic and you start um frying with rama on the side your spinach has boiled you put it on the side and then you start boiling this and while boiling this garlic and um rama you put flour guys to make this some sort of like a paste and you keep um rotating until um it is fine so now you put your spinach back on top of that mixture the paste and you continue um removing the lumps because um the flour does create a bit of lumps so you have to be fast so that the lumps one um create this is the time now to put your aromat don't put salt because aromat is salty and you if you put salt then it will be too much so you put your aromat you continue to stay and stay until the lumps are gone and then after you just um put milk and then let's keep stirring guys let's keep stirring removing the lumps and until it is fine like the spinach tastes so nice i think it's because of the garlic and the garlic it makes it so nice and the flour as well create the creamy but don't put too much flour because then it will taste um like you're baking spinach put just a bit so that it can be um it can be thick and then we put your milk and some people use cream of um chicken no cream of mushroom soup royco soup to make it a thicker but we like this one because it is um with garlic so yeah this tastes nice guys you should try it if you do not if maybe you're using different ways to make your cream spinach so let's just keep stirring until it's fine this is almost done and it doesn't take long it doesn't take long so now i am going to put my chicken in my fryer so let's just put that this is i think after an hour of um marinating this so do it a day before so that you do not um you do not need to like um waste um time waiting for this to happen so i'll put it in the air fryer after putting it in the air fryer and then after i'll put 180 for 20 minutes and then after so you'll keep checking if your chicken is not done after 20 minutes then you'll turn it and then cook the other side for another five minutes so this is the final result and my kids and family did love this meal what's up you guys today i am reviewing this house before they finish building so let's just go to the house you
and then we were off to Johannesburg and this took us I think 30 minutes from St. Juron to Johannesburg the stadium is called Ellis Park so it was my first time going there because I've been to other stadiums so this is when the team was coming in and it was just a joyous moment they kept playing Sister Bettina the song and we were just so excited and yeah this is when they were charging and I felt like yo guys this is dangerous why would anyone play this uh, i mean it's no different than wrestling but yeah guys i guess they are used to this and yeah it, was, it just looked so dangerous to me and then we had a wonderful moment and then we left the stadium i think around uh seven or to eight then we had to go and eat supper thank you guys hope you subscribe